Ladies and gentlemen, please, would you welcome to the stage, Susie Grumble! Yeah. interpretation so maybe that's useful right now uh, there's like a story where there's a baker with three baskets on his head and uh, Joseph you all know Joseph um, he's like that means you're gonna die in three days <laughs> and uh, none of my friends when I tell them that I've had dreams have said that so far I feel like that would be super strange but it's just you were there <laughs> you were there you were there you were there you weren't there. <laughs> Which, if anything, is actually stranger to me right now. Like, were you supposed to be here, or did you have other plans that no, you cancelled? This was fine. Okay. <laughs> Agree to disagree. Uh, okay, that's fine. Um. <laughs> These three. Um, you don't want to know what they're going to do, but. Um, <laughs> I should say, uh, to warn you, um, there is, I do, uh, the end of the dream, it ends, and we are all, every single one of us, naked for about 15 seconds. <laughs> uh, so I just thought I'd check, like, please raise your hand if you would not be comfortable being completely naked with everybody in this room for 15 seconds. <laughs> it's okay, well. <laughs> all right, fine, that's fair. I mean, we'll see what happens. We'll see if you change your mind. Or if not, obviously, you won't be naked and something might fracture in the time space continuum. <laughs> I think it's going to be okay. And you. Oh my goodness. You had a message for me from my dead grandmother. <laughs> You turned into an owl, which you can do right now. If you <laughs> um, oh my goodness. I can't remember what it was. Uh, do you remember? Can you tell me what was it that she said? What, your grandmother? Yes, yes, my grandmother who died five years ago. What did she, what did she tell you again? Like, I remember it was really important. I don't know. <laughs> The house. <laughs> the what about the house? The keys, the keys to the house could have been on the doormat or something. No. <laughs> <laughs> that does kind of sound like something she would say. We did sell the house, so maybe she's like trying to find a way for me to break back in. It was a really nice house. I don't know what I'm going to I'm gonna go, I'm gonna drive to Ilkley tomorrow. I'm gonna to check under that door. I mean, the people who moved in there really didn't like us. My mom tried to go and she was like, I used to live here, I grew up here. And they went, get out of my garden. <laughs> um, so no, that's fine. Uh, maybe I'll open it up. Like, does, does anyone wanna, like, who, who here really loves their dreams? Anybody? Do you really like, does anyone have a favorite dream in there ever? Yeah, yeah, you over there. Who I do actually know, your name is John. Um, you see, he told me in the dream. Um, <laughs> what, what, what dream do you? I, I, I love a dream of where I'm flying and I fall to Earth to Europe. <laughs> <laughs> Something, um, no, that's not exactly how it went in the dream. Okay, no, can, can we try that again? Okay, so. Oh, I actually know this guy. His name uh, is John. He told me in the dream. Uh, so yeah, what did you want to say? 
since I fly and I fall to the earth. <laughs> Okay, that's not. Okay, I'm going to try it one more time. Yeah, this is John. I, I should know because he's not his name in the dream. Um, yeah, so okay. <laughs> oh, that was it. That was it. <laughs> Okay, that's reminded me. Oh my goodness, I actually remember what it is that you told me that my grandmother said. <sighs> okay, word for word. I'm saying along if you remember it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> two, double pusen. Two ounces of butter. Three quarters of a cup of chicken stock. Salt, pepper from a mill. The grated rind and juice of half an orange. One dessert spoon of plain flour. One dessert spoon of Dijon mustard. One tablespoon of double cream. And watercress to garnish. Heat a flame-proof casserole. <laughs> Drop in half of the butter and when foaming, put in the poussin and a quarter of the cup of chicken stock. Cover the pan at once and cook it on a slow to moderate heat or in the oven on 375 degrees Fahrenheit until tender or for 20 to 30 minutes. Take up the birds, split and trim the backbones, place in a separate oven-proof dish ready for grilling. Blend the flour and the remaining chicken stock with the butter and the juices and season. Let it boil and then strain and keep warm. Sprinkle the birds with the orange juice and dust with a little bit of salt and pepper. Put in the mustard and the rind into the sauce. Stir in the cream if using, and then pour the sauce around the chicken, melt the remaining butter, spoon it over the birds, and grill until golden brown, brown and crisp. Then add the watercress garnish. Now, I'm actually vegan, so I don't know what. <laughs> is that I was in a relationship with Hank Lecter, uh, the Mads Mikkelsen version, obviously, and uh, <laughs> Mr. Green was like, you can't try and change the men you're with, you can just learn to love them. But I feel like killing and eating people is maybe my exception, like I put that on the list of red flags. <laughs> <laughs> and I also had a phase where um, these demons kept um, coming to have sex with me. Um, I mean, in some ways I'm flattered. But uh, they, uh, yeah, eventually though, I had to learn how to say no in the dream. And do you know what? Demons actually respect consent. Who <laughs> thought they were one up on a lot of people? Um, and then at this point, which is a little bit worrying because I don't want to get into trouble, but I floated off the ground. Is that okay? Can I fill off the ground? Is that alright? I mean, it was expressly against the gig rule. I know, but I might make right? an exception. I'm on stage with a microphone. Yeah, fair, fair. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Alright, it's going to happen. I actually feel like maybe... No, it hasn't happened. Uh, maybe you could... Everybody... Everybody looking at me, could you all, deep in your hearts, believe that I'm going to float off the ground right now, please. Okay, okay, here we go. Oh my goodness, I'm going to change. I feel like someone here doesn't believe. Do um, you want to like, admit that you, like, I don't know, was it you? 
because you weren't no, supposed I'm to be here, so <laughs> maybe it was you. And okay. <laughs> Is this a relative of yours? <laughs> like you turned into the owl in the dream, and now I have an owl yes. in my pocket, which I only... I did not put that there. Um, super weird, this one. <laughs> orange from my grandmother. <laughs> this is kind of, and the Pusan. Okay, no, this is kind of, uh, I'm sure that I've heard, so I'm playing for that, and the milk, you can see double cream. Okay, no, this is really, really not okay, it's just some weird. No, I don't, I don't, um, <laughs> I don't feel comfortable with where any of this is Uh, my name is Susie Grumble, and uh, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'm sure. 